This is Owen McKendry for ESPR Boxing. Delighted to be joined by Danny Quartermain. Danny, a huge fight for yourself on Saturday, not too far from home. Obviously, Coventry City Centre being from Leamington. How are you feeling ahead of Saturday night? Yeah, really good, really excited as, as obvious. You know, look at look at the turnout. Um, the turnout on Saturday night is going to be even better. Um, there's some local faces, you know, like the likes of Bradley River. Um, all faces that I've come up through the, uh, the amateur days with. Um, so it's going to be great for them to be fighting on the same card as myself. Um, we've got a great fight, a great headlining fight uh, with the IBF European title on the cards. Um, it's going to be an exciting fight. You know, Alex is here to fight, I'm here to fight. It's going to be a, a cracking show. For those who haven't seen yourself, I was at the boxer card uh, when you were on the undercard of uh, Joshua Barazzi, Stepien. Your fans, I've never seen noise like it. They come out with uh, the biggest flag I think I've ever seen. Obviously, as a football fan, some of the flags you see are huge. Your support is incredible, so what can we expect from them on Saturday night? I mean, that, that says it all really. I mean, we, we did get some compliments from Boxer at the time, saying uh, they've never had a, a venue so atmospheric so early on. Uh, normally it's dead at, at five o'clock in the afternoon, but um, it definitely wasn't. Um, so again, it's only going to get better because you've got other fighters bringing a massive fan base with them. That's going to build the atmosphere between, between the two. And uh, to be top in the bill, um, the atmosphere is going to grow, it's going to get bigger and everyone's going to be in the venue ready for that, that title fight. And then for yourself, obviously you've had a taste of the big shows, like you say, with Boxer. How does GBM compare to that? Because obviously a lot of the fighters I spoke to today, um, I've seen comments on Twitter, Instagram, all socials and, and that style of sort of thing, sorry. Everyone's saying they're almost ahead of their time. The production levels are that of, you know, an Eddie Hearn show. What, how do you feel it's been so far? GBM is a big show. Um, it, it, it's there. It's obvious. Um, they're putting on productions just just as good as the likes of Matry and Queensbury and Boxer, if not better. Um, it's not often you find a card stacked as it is with so many 50-50 votes. And this is what the fans have been asking for. It's what Simon Jordan's been asking for on TalkSport. So uh, it's ticking all the boxes. And then for yourself, obviously, I know Izzy um, he alluded to it as well, where he got obviously Stevie Levy and then they managed to get a European title fight for her. Was it similar for yourself or was it straight up when he, when he put the sort of offer to yourself, was it always going to be for a title? No, I mean, I, as we had a, a conversation with Izzy and, and Al Ziesta, um, we, we said that we're signing for GBM, we, we want a title. Uh, I'm ready to step up now for a title and um, that's, that's what they've done. I mean, we weren't expecting an IBF European, but to get that bout under, under, my, uh, under my calibre, then it's great to see. It's, it's more of a, a surprise than anything. We were maybe expecting some sort of uh, English title or some sort of title like that, but they've gone above and beyond to exceed my expectations and get that bout. And uh, Saturday night would be great to walk away with it. And then obviously trainer Edwin, he alluded to it, obviously where you was in the amateurs, 86 amateur fights, a good amateur career, but due to your style, look, the pro ranks are always going to suit you better. Do you, did you expect to, obviously if you win on Saturday night, you've got a top 10 ranking within the IBF. Did you expect to progress that quickly within the professional ranks? Um, I'd already expected to progress quite quickly. I think a lot of people when I was fighting in the amateurs are like, when are you turning pro? For, for the last three years I was boxing as an amateur, they're like, when you're turning pro, when you're turning pro. And I think... It was the last, probably the last two to three years as an amateur where I really gained my experience in fighting different styles, different abilities. Um, and yeah, all right, my style, style suits professional boxing rather than amateur boxing. Um, going from three threes straight into four threes is brilliant. Um, it, ten round fights even better. Um, I'm, I've got the engine to last them rounds, uh, as you'll probably see on Saturday. Um, but again, Edwin knew I was more than capable as a professional um, and to progress this quickly I wouldn't say it's that quick we, we, we've done our, our stint of the 10, 10 fights previous to this um, some of them being learning fights some of them being just getting the rounds under our belt but um, I'm more than happy with where I am and I, I feel I'm more than capable to win this, this title on Saturday and then for yourself obviously Alex is a more experienced fighter you now he has been in with like, so the likes of Archie Sharp do you, but where Edwin, your trainer, said this will bring the better Danny Quartermain out, do you feel that stepping up against better opponents, we are going to see a much better version of yourself? Yeah, it's always been the case. Even as an amateur, I was pushed from an early age in, into the elites, fighting lads who probably had double the amount of fights I've had. And it always brought the better side of me out, made me uh, work harder, made me learn on the job. I think with this fight against Alex, he's more experienced, brilliant. Um, he, he's done more 10 rounders it's another another tick in his box but 
I feel that my engine, my ability, uh, my desire, my focus, my heart uh, is definitely going to bring me out on top on Saturday night and it's definitely going to see a better Danny. The, the style that Alex brings is brilliant. It's not going to be one where it's cat and mouse, someone's chasing one another. We're both going to be trading blows, we're both going to be putting up a fight and it's going to be a more entertaining fight than others. And then for yourself, obviously, it did get a bit of a giggle around where Izzy said the taxi driver told him that Alex had said he's going to knock you out in four rounds. What does that does that almost spur you on when a fighter is saying, obviously, you're going to step into the ring with you and you've got your opponent sat there saying he's going to knock you out nice and early. Does that almost spur you on? Uh, it doesn't really affect me as such. Um, there's a lot of fight talk all the time with people, different fighters um, on different shows. I think sometimes it gets a bit gimmicky now. A lot of people try and kick up a first, try and push and a shove. I'm not really about that, I respect the guy, I'm thankful that he's come over to fight me in Coventry, which I could always say is my backyard, which you wouldn't find many fighters doing that, and for him to come over um, and, and to fight for this title, I can't thank him enough for coming over really. And then, without again looking forward too far in the future past Saturday, what does 2024 look like for you after you've got your first title? Is it sort of title fights only from here on out? Well, we'll obviously win the title, we're looking to probably then defend. Um, but don't get me wrong, the, a British title is always in, under my radar. It's a, it should be under most British fighters' radar, if I'm honest, because it's, it's the pinnacle of British boxing. Um, don't get me wrong, that, I mean, there's a fight against Belotti, weren't there, and Dylan was about four weeks ago. Um, I watched it, great fight. Um, I want to be able to be a, up for a British title fight eventually, so hopefully maybe le later in the year. So obviously watching fights like you say, like the Bellotti Dillon fight, do you sit there and sort of see, not almost pick weaknesses, but do you sort of sit there and feel like you could get in with those sort of in a relatively quick space of time? Yeah, I don't feel like it's out of my, uh, my comfort zone. Uh, I don't feel like I'm on that level, if not higher. Um, it was a great fight to watch. Hats off to both of them. But um, yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to fight either one of them, whoever whoever wanted a fight obviously Blotty's got the bout at the moment uh, fair play to him but again it's it's a fight that you look at from a fighter's perspective and think yeah I'd like to be in that and then Izzy's looking at you're almost his breakout star you could potentially become the face of GBM it could uh, have a home base in the Midlands was that sort of a, a big turning factor in you making the decision to come over with Izzy because obviously like you say you've had the taste of the box of cards you were supposed to be on the DAZN show which fell through so was it the fact is he wants a home base within the Midlands and he can obviously deliver sort of title fights like this uh, at short notice in essence yeah I mean it's, it's a great opportunity for myself um, it's a nice feeling that someone wants to try and promote you as much as they are and they're doing a great job they, you know, the team that they've got around them is brilliant they, they do have to make it ever so easy for the fighters um, especially in fight week people don't want to have the headaches of doing dealing with tickets and, and promotions etc and, and they take it all, all on, their, on their own they, I don't have to, I'd have to do anything this week really um, so it's great to have that, that sort of support and help and for them to back me and put a show on so local to where I live and uh, and obviously me headline it for a title, it's brilliant. I mean, it's, eff it's everything that the fans want to see as well. And people of Leamington want to see it. They want to bring titles back to Leamington Spa once again. And then just a final one from me. Obviously, you did say, because that fight fell through, you've almost been in a sort of three and a half month, four month long camp. How ready do you feel then? Because obviously, sometimes people can feel like they might overtrain. Uh, a camp could be potentially too long. But do you feel that those, that extra time has got the best Danny quarter main ready? I don't when they say camp, I don't like to refer to the, the name camp because as a, a full-time athlete, as a box professional boxer, you should always be at that fitness level all year round, re ready when you might get the call-up, especially this, this sort of stage of my career. Um, you have to kind of be ready because there might be shots that get called up within two, three weeks notice, you need to be ready. Um, with that, it kind of just excelled my focus more than anything because I was focused on a fight. Um, and when there's a fight in hand and something to focus on, my tra I, I feel that my training improves. Um, there's obviously something to go for, isn't there, and something to fight for. So, um, yeah, I feel like my focus has been very much on this fight massively, probably from just after Christmas. Uh, made sacrifice over Christmas for the fight in January, but it makes it even more of a, a magnitude of a fight because uh, these sacrifices are all going to be well worth it on Saturday night. Danny, thank you so much for joining me today and good luck on Saturday night.